What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. So in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to save your SHSH2 blobs for future downgrades on iOS directly on the device without using a computer. Well, you're going to use a computer if you want to find the ACID, but you can also find the ACID on the device, so that shouldn't be counted. I'm talking of course about the TSS checker compiled already for the iOS, and I have to thank the only German guy on Reddit for compiling this on the iOS. In order to get it, you need to add the following repo that is going to be available in the description as well as on the screen right now, and you will be able to use the TSS checker by Teamstar that is going to be available after that in Cydia. So let's go ahead on the device and see how we want to save this and how we can do that. All right, so I've switched on the device and I'm going to show you how to save your blobs. But at first you need to know that there are more than one method in order for you to do that. And uh, one of it is, of course, one Conan's website, which is available, of course, in mobile Safari. And the link is going to be in the description if you want to save your blobs on the website directly from the device. But if you want to save them locally, you can, of course, use the, the, method, the method that I'm going to show you now. There is also a Telegram method for saving the blobs, but I'm not currently using Telegram, so I do not know how that is working. So uh, in order to get started you need to of course open Cydia and uh, you have two options in here in order to find your ACID because it's not available on the settings page. You can either connect the device to the computer and see in iTunes what your ACID is or if you do not have access to a computer at all you can install UDID calculator available of course in, um, in Cydia and it's going to show you your um, it's going to show you your ACID when you open it. Then you of course need the mobile terminal and I'm going to show you how it looks like. Unfortunately the mobile terminal has a very very small font so on the screen you're going to have the entire command that you have to use inside the um, inside the uh, mobile terminal after you install the TSS checker from the repo in the description. So we're going to start with getting a root access. By that we're going to use SU and it's going to ask you for a password. The password is Alpine. A-L-P-I-N-E, right? Then you're going to be a uh, root, so you're going to be able to run things as root, and the one you want to, to run is TSS checker without any spaces, and run it first without any parameters to make sure that the binary exists and it can start properly. And as you can see, in my case, it does start properly. Well, and this is the command that you're going to run. So again, TSS checker, and then you're going to write double dash, board configuration, board config, and uh, you're going to leave a space and the next thing you're going to write is your board configuration. Now this varies uh, depending on the device. In order to find that you can access the link in the description that's going to bring you to the iPhone wiki where you can find the board configuration for each individual device. In my case it's an iPhone 6, so the board configuration is N, sorry, N61A P. Now keep in mind this is going to be different for you, so you should keep this in mind, do not use my board configuration because it's important to have the correct one in there, either way you're going to save for a different device or you're going to get errors. The next thing you're going to write is dash D and of course the, uh, the name of your device. In my case it's iPhone 7.2 two or seven comma two. This is the identifier of the device. Uh, even though it's an iPhone 6, it's called iPhone 7 uh, comma two. iPhone 7 comma one is the iPhone 6 plus. So again, you can find those variables in the description down below where you can find what is your device called. The next thing is of course dash L, which is going to represent saving the blobs for the latest available version. Then you're going to write dash E, exactly as on the computer, and you, here you need your ACID, your unique device number, so that you can make your blob for your device. This is why you cannot use your friend's blobs, because the blobs are unique with your ACID that cannot be changed after that. So make sure you insert it correctly and double check if required. And mine is um, A58445. Um, Two, four, six, seven, 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 three, four. Right. The next command is going to be dash s, and this is pretty much it. You can of course follow up with uh, double dash save da dash path and the path where you want the blobs to be saved. But for me, it's enough because I know where it's going to be saved, and I'm going to show you too. Hit the return key, and you're going to see this. It's going to of course require the uh, blobs from the server. 
It's going to have a couple of success attempts, then a couple of failures, but it's going to save the blobs correctly on the device. As you can see, I'm solely using the device and the mobile terminal, which is uh, free and is available in the uh, CDM. So you can see saved SHSH blobs for iOS 10.3.1, 14E304, that is signed. So uh, in order to find the blobs now, you're going to, to install FileZa or iFile, but I do recommend FileZa and uh, you're going to navigate to the following path. So I'm assuming you are, um, you are in here and in root. You can check the path you are um, on here on the top. You can see that um, this, you know, slash in here, it shows you where you are currently. So make sure you are on the slash by clicking, of course, um, this back button here, if you're anywhere else. And from here, you're going to need to go to var to uh, private, sorry, it's actually backwards. You're going to go to private and var, and then you're going to go to mobile, and the mobile is available down here. Right, and as you can see, the blob is actually here. We, if we try to open it, keep in mind the blob itself, you can see it was saved on May 14, and it's the uh, .shsh2 format. It has 58 kilobyte. Now, uh, you can open the blob using a plist editor because it's not uh, nothing more than a plist. So, proprietary uh, list editor in here, and you can see the content of it. It contains root, and it has the server version, which is 2.1.0, the uh, app AMG4 ticket, which is required, the BB, which is probably a basement ticket, then the basement firmware update installed, and basement firmware in here, and the generator. So they are saved correctly for the Prometheus method. So this is how you save it. From here you can import it on your computer by of course copying, or you can move it anywhere else you want, and so on. It's all up to you, but this is how you save it. So this is actually how you save it on the device, guys. Till the next time, do not forget, save your blobs. I'm Geosnow. Peace out.